indeed.com came out with a stat last week and said, there's going to be 1.3 million new developer jobs in the next 10 years. On the, in the world? In, in America. In America, 1.3 million. The universities are only going to graduate 400,000. So we have okay. 900,000 holes wow. that the schools aren't going to fill. And so if you think you're going to be able to just go out and hire mid-level talent to advance talent, um, if you're not a sexy company like Facebook, you basically are are lying to yourself. Or a company that has a money printing machine like Facebook, Google, right. Uber, Airbnb, because they can outbid you. for $25,000 more for them is nothing. There's free nothing. food is nothing. Free dry cleaning, free whatever. Right. But to you, that's expensive. And right. so you're never going to win. And if So wait, you know, are you advocating to make your own talent? Absolutely. So we are uh, developing this idea of a farm team. Hmm. And the idea that any uh, business now needs to start thinking about developing their own talent, both with an external pipeline coming into the company, but also internally hmm. reskilling people. Got it. So you know you have a need for more, I don't know, what, what's, a, what's a, a development language that you service right now that's most in need? What do you see uh, most people are drawn to? 100% full stack JavaScript. So it's ah. super hot. Um, we've seen the transition. Full stack, Jav JavaScript. Full stack JavaScript. Absolutely. And right. it's just hotter than hot. Facebook came out with this uh, framework called React. Yes. And everyone's using it. Um, and now, React, uh, which they came out with, yep. just to get a little geeky here, um, allows you to write the code once. It works in a number of different locations. Right, even on you, mobile. Even on mobile. So this idea that you have to build a native app we were all told, and Facebook actually suffered because Facebook, right. their first app was a wrapped web page. Right. Then they, they and went they failed brutally. Native. Then they went native. Right. And now have we come full circle to where I, as a consumer, would not be able to understand the difference between a React app and a, and a native app. Yeah. A native app. It, it, or is it close? Or it's it's uh, essentially on par. Now. Really? Yeah. And so this is throwing everybody um, into a tizzy and it's, it's that we may see mobile development, n native mobile development go away, which is actually good for companies because it doesn't mean you, ha you, you no longer need an Android team, an iOS team and a web team. Yeah. You, you have a development start, team. Right. You can start to combine them and you don't have to worry about feature parity. It'd be which much is, better if that was the case, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be way better. It'd be better for everybody. So we're starting to see that happen. Hmm. And, um, it's just interesting alignment around JavaScript. You know, I learned C++ when I did a computer science degree. Yeah. Never used it. And that's how it. the Apple apps are made, iOS apps. Right, typically. yeah, Objective-C. Objective-C. Um, and so it's it's all changing now, but, but the major point is that React is actually hot right now, but mm. probably in 12 months it won't be. Ah. It's gonna be something different. What do you think is the next thing? Have you been <sighs> monitoring it? You haven't seen anything? <laughs> the problem is you can't, you, you can't tell. And, and this is part of the problem is it, the talent problem is so difficult because number one, you can't beat Facebook and Google um, in the war for talent. And you can't keep people upskilled fast enough because the technology is changing too fast. And the only way to deal with this is to figure out how to learn um, little bit by little bit every day and never stop. And part of what I want to communicate on the program today is that we need to switch to an apprenticeship model in tech. Hey, everybody, let me take a moment to thank Weebly. Yes, if you've ever thought about quitting your job like my guest did and doing your own thing, you're not crazy. In fact, you're like the 82 million other Americans who've said they'd start their own business if only they could. Well, Weebly wants to see more of these people take that leap and turn their ideas into a successful online business. So... They've made it super easy for you to get started. First, by making it dead simple to create a great looking website. Second, and more importantly, by providing tools that help you turn that website into a successful business. Let's say you're an artist or you're making Sphero and you wanna sell your stuff online. Well, with Weebly, you can build an online store that makes your products and your brand look incredible. But that's not all. You can manage inventory, collect payments, run promotions, and even live chat with visitors to your site. You know that experience when you go to a website and you can chat? Well, that's Weebly. And you know what that does? Less people abandon their shopping carts, more people think highly of your company when they can chat with somebody. So that's a really good feature. And when you're ready to grow, Weebly can help you get discovered on search engines. They can help you create marketing campaigns and 
help you with those return customers. Those are critical. Retargeting return customers are everything. Sometimes people come window shopping. Uh, they check out the Misty. They, mm, maybe I'm ready. Maybe I'm not. They come back a second time. And then maybe the third time is the charm. You want to get that retargeting of those return customers. So whether you're looking to create a side hustle or it's time for you to take on your dream job, Weebly can help you get there. Visit Weebly.com slash twist for 15% off your first purchase. Weebly.com slash twist for your 15% off your first purchase. Weebly, more than just a beautiful website.